Hello there, and welcome to the Pipso channel. My name is Matt, and I'm a co-founder and chief technology officer at Pipso.com. This live video will cover our latest major release, Pipso 3.6. It is a pretty important release, delivering compatibility with WordPress 5.8 and the new blog-based widget editors, as well as new social login providers and features, and public betas of two new major features. Let's dive right in. Uh, to start off, let's talk about WordPress 5.8. It is a major WordPress update uh, which expands the idea of blocks to widget areas. You will probably remember uh, that uh, Gutenberg and the block editing became a thing a while ago. Um, it is pretty controversial. Some people love it, some people hate it. Um, right now, the block editing uh, is entering the widget areas uh, in WordPress as well. Uh, it is a completely new interface with light preview. You can use widgets and you can use blocks in the sidebars and other areas um, typically, uh, typically used by widgets in the past. Um, it is now enabled both in appearance widgets and appearance customizer. Um, and if you do not like it, you can opt out of it. So. If you think that you will not like this feature um, in WordPress 5.8, you can skip this uh, this part of the video right away. Uh, to opt out of this, you have to install something called Classic Widgets. Uh, it's an official plugin, which all you have to do is install, activate, and then the widget areas are the same, even if you are using WordPress 5.8. If you do want to use um, the new blog-based widget manager, uh, Pipso 3.6 is ready for it and I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty groundbreaking feature and as, uh, as one, it, it does uh, pose some issues. Uh, for example, our widgets generally tended not to work very well with it. Um, the difference is it's, it only broke in the backend, so you couldn't really use them um, inside the new editor, but the frontend would still work. Uh, so what we had to do, we had to fix some of our widgets and we had to improve the way Gecko, um, Gecko implements the, um, the gradients and other stuff. Um, so as you can see here, I am in the appearance widgets. This is the new interface. This is, for example, the header. You can see the live preview. When you click on that, you can see all the options. Um, this works pretty well. Um, this is my sidebar similar situation, the gecko uh, gradients are working fine, my photos and so on. The only little drawback is um, because there are not enough filters, uh, let's let's show you this here, this this will work better. This is the, the WordPress customizer. As you can see, the, the new stuff is here as well. When you go to sidebar right here, you will see that this is a third party widget uh, with a Gecko gradients applied. Unfortunately, WordPress doesn't give us enough filters in order to apply the same thing for the preview. So this is the only drawback that we are aware of. Um, Gecko is unable to apply its uh, special features or gradients and, and, and styles to the previews if the widget doesn't belong to Pipso. It's inside Pipso we were able to create those developer hooks uh, to apply those, but WordPress itself doesn't doesn't give them to us, so we cannot apply them to third-party widgets yet. Um, the situation will probably improve as WordPress um, releases new versions and this, this whole idea becomes more mature. The block-based uh, widget uh, editor becomes better and better with time. We saw the same happening with Gutenberg with post-editing and page editing, so I am very I'm very positive that this is going to be an amazing feature. This is another step towards full site editing, um, which means you will be able to edit absolutely everything with blocks. Um, so it is pretty exciting. Uh, love it or hate it. It is here to stay. For now, you can opt out of it if you want. Um, OK, next topic is the social login. In a previous release, we have added uh, a login with Reddit. In this one, let's close this. Okay. In this one, we have added eight new providers Amazon, Bitbucket, Dropbox, GitLab, Slack, Strava, Telegram, and Twitch, which brings the total to, uh, unfortunately, I don't know the total, I would have to count them roughly 15, let's say, uh, providers. 
Um, so that's one thing. You, you now have a much wider choice when it comes to uh, providers for registration or login um, with, the, with the social providers. Um, another thing is we have implemented the, the, the interface that you might know from other areas of PIPSO where you can expand and collapse uh, those items or just one of them and you can drag and drop them. So the order that you are going to apply here is going to apply in the front end. So this is custom ordering. That's, that's one new feature. Another new feature here is the color pickers. You are now able to change the colors of the icons individually, both the icon itself and the background color. So that should give you um, greater control over how it looks in the front end um, if you if you just want grayscale or you know if you want darker colors anything anything uh, anything at all um, there is a button to reset them to default as well so that's about it you have eight new providers nine if you count reddit added in the previous release uh, you can make custom order and you can uh, control the colors here and another thing that we added i'm gonna have to show you the incognito mode is uh, in the front end we added those little mouse over icon, um, icons, well, mouse over over the icons, uh, those little bubbles that will tell you uh, what the provider is exactly in case you are not aware or like you're not very familiar with the icon uh, that, that a given provider uses. So that is it for social login. Another thing is the post backgrounds. The post backgrounds have been happening for quite a while now. Um, they have been a part of the early access program for a couple of weeks. We have now opened them as a public beta as a part of the foundation plugin. Um, it is not fully stable yet, as in not all pips of features are, are enabled inside um, those types of posts, for example, uh, hashtags, mentions, um, links, markdown, and so on. Why? It's because we are using a completely new approach here. We are using um, a new technology that is very different from what Pipso has been using until now. And the idea is this is going to become the new way of doing things, this new super rich text, amazing, very flexible approach. So we are using the post uh, backgrounds as a sort of a trial run for this, um, which means the native pips of features will be implemented gradually inside post backgrounds um, as time goes. Uh, and when we are sure that everything works, everything's implemented, we will take it out of beta. Um, right now you can go ahead and turn it on in PIPSO configuration stream posts all the way down here, post backgrounds. Uh, you can turn it on, you can control the length and you can control the amount of line breaks. Um, these are pretty important because those boxes have a certain size. And if you put too much text or too many line breaks, they're not going to fit well. Uh, this is just the nature of, of this feature. It's it's more Twitter-like. It's more designed for short pieces of text with uh, not many line breaks, preferably one or two sentences, this kind of stuff. Uh, although you are in control of the of the post lengths and the, and the line breaks here. And uh, as we have already demonstrated before, similar to what you just have seen in social login, uh, you can change the order. You can change the names, you can change the images. Uh, everything is very flexible here, 100% uh, customizable. You can turn them on, turn them off, reorder. So this this feature is is pretty amazing, still in beta, but it is safe to use. The only difference is that some features uh, are still not ported to it, but uh, it is it is going to uh, to be finished in a, in a couple of weeks, couple of months. Uh, it, it's hard to say yet. And after this has matured, it will open up an avenue for implementing amazing uh, rich text post boxes for all of Pipso in the future. So this is the real the really amazing part of this. It's not only it looks pretty. Uh, it's very flexible, it's very colorful, um, it lets your users express themselves in, in a completely new way. It also opens a whole new chapter in terms of postbox for Pipso, which has been pretty static for the years that we have been around, but now we have uh, big plans for the postbox based off uh, this idea. 
And uh, last but not least, uh, we we have been asked about events in Pipso for a very long time, and we have spent a lot of time looking for a viable provider for a third party that we could integrate with. My biggest problem personally with WordPress event plugins is that they are done painfully the WordPress way, as in everything is managed from the backend. You know, you have to give a person a certain role and then they will be able to create events. Or uh, there is this concept of an event organizer, which is like a separate entity from the user, whereas we need something more community-like where the owner of the event is the person who made it. We want the users to be able to uh, to manage and to create events in the front end. And after a long time, we have found a WordPress event manager, which is a amazing plugin and it's been uh, really great uh, working with them and really great integrating into their product because their their code is amazing and uh, and as a programmer I found it very nice to work with it uh, as you can see here uh, we have already um, a beta of this in uh, pipso 3.6 uh, it is already integrated with uh, user profiles you can see the profiles, uh, sorry, you can see the events that you created. You can see the events that you decided to join or are interested in. And you have an RSVP system here, very similar to what you know from Facebook, where you can attend, be interested or not attend an event. So we are using here in this demo site, uh, the free version of WordPress Event Manager. And the RSVP system is something that Pipso built for that plugin. It is exclusive to our integration uh, because WordPress uh, Event Manager, they have a registrations plugin, but it works a little more old school and we wanted something, something more social networking, so to speak. So we build our own RSVP system. So if you want to have an RSVP system with them, you need Pipso and you need our integration because this is something that we built. Um, it's already a pretty amazing plugin. Uh, when a new event is created, it creates a post on the stream. It looks like this. Matt created an event. Uh, the regular WordPress embed here. Uh, the RSVP stuff goes goes in here as well, so you can RSVP you or another other community members. When someone joins an event, it creates a similar post, so that the events are being promoted by people creating them and joining them. And also, um, the the event creator will get a notification when people join the event. You can see it here. Uh, the example users have joined my events, my 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 event. Uh, there is only one notification for each event, and it is gathering all the names, all the users in one place. And also, the uh, the event owner can decide to mute those on a per event basis. Um, it is an amazing product. If I say so myself, it took us three months to build. We still have uh, some stuff that we want to add, like invitations um, and, and, and some other things. Uh, so we consider this to be a beta. It is very stable, but I would still recommend if you want to try it, install it on a staging site first uh, before you give it to your users. Uh, because there might be some things that we have missed, and we would uh, we would love some help finding the 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 things that we might have missed. We would love some feedback. Uh, if you have ideas for what you would like to see and an events plugin, this is a great moment to tell us because we are working on this full steam ahead. Um, but I think it's an amazing addition to to the Pipsa family, and if you already have an ultimate bundle. Uh, subscription and active license, you will see this uh, plugin inside your installer already. So you are able to just click install it and that's it. The WPEM is a free product, a free plugin, so you can get it straight from the uh, WordPress repository. They do have uh, paid plugins and we're going to give you 20% uh, off uh, dedicated for Pipso customers. But uh, the caveat here is that we have not tested our integration with any of the paid plugins yet. 
again, this is still a beta. It's an early, uh, an early version, uh, something that we call a minimum viable product. As time goes, we will look into the paid plugins of WPM and we will integrate whatever uh, there is a demand for as much as possible. We, we try not to over engineer this. Uh, we will wait for customer feedback. Okay, and what's coming in the future? So the post backgrounds are gonna come out of beta at some point. The WordPress event manager is going to come out of beta at some point. So these are the two things that you already know. We are working on an integration with mobile out still. Our app has been accepted uh, to the Android and Apple app stores. Uh, so we have a proof of concept. We still have to do some styling and implement uh, push notifications, but we are very happy with the results. Uh, we are working with a developer of WordPress stories uh, to implement an integration with Pipso where you will be able to post and see stories similar to Facebook and Instagram inside your community website. Um, and we are working very closely with Ferdi Korposhek, uh, if, uh, forgive me if I don't pronounce this properly, uh, who is an amazing uh, WordPress YouTuber and he's working on an epic four hour tutorial about Pipso, which is completely up to date with the latest releases. Uh, that has been going on for quite a while and he's done an amazing job, much better than I can ever hope uh, to do. So there is a lot to look forward. Uh, look forward for. Um, I hope that you enjoy my video. Um, thank you so much for your attention. And as always, uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us through our website, pipso.com, uh, support tickets or our community uh, for more updates and to stay uh, on top of everything that is happening. As you can see, we are doing a lot. You can join our community. You can subscribe our newsletter or subscribe our YouTube channel and remember to turn on those little notifications uh, because we will be uh, sending out some updates because there is a lot being cooked right now. Um, thank you for watching and uh, take care, guys.